repair everyone. Before uh, I get this video going on this lock, I want to show you a little bit of a preview and a mistake that I've made. And it's a kind of a rookie mistake, but then again, I'm a rookie. Um, an example of what not to do when you are reinserting the uh, core into the Bible, don't accidentally uh, <laughs> straighten your uh, core back up or the pins will fall down halfway through. Yeah, I was in the process of turning this uh, master lock, this is that uh, Mexican master lock that I got, into a uh, challenge lock. <laughs> and, uh, well, now I've got to pick this before I can even get it going again. So, in the next part, uh, you guys will see this uh, lock put back together. You'll see me pick it and gut it. And then I'm going to ship it off to some unlucky uh, victim. Anyway, thank you. Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, my other Master Lock Pro Series 6850. Uh, this lock was a little bit too easy, so I did modify it. I tried to put a little bit of uh, stiff pins or harder pins in it to, to pick, and uh, well, it did make it harder to pick. Um, probably not quite hard enough so what I actually did is I made up another master lock core here uh, and when I issue this one as a uh, challenge lock I'll probably use this core right here instead of the one that's actually in it right now anyway uh, here's the bidding on the key as it sits right now now I did modify the uh, bidding on the key I made um, pin 4 a uh, deeper set also made pin one here a deeper set and there's the original bidding on the key so you could tell it wasn't a very challenging bidding to begin with but uh, the key does work make sure it's locked back up and to pick this one I'm going to go with the uh, top of the keyway tension and I'm going to use a 15 thousandth sparrows short hook I'm going to start out at the back of the keyway. Got to click out of six. Got to click two clicks out of five. I got to click out of three. Got a couple clicks out of two. Got a little bit of a false set. Can't really get to one with that pick right now. It's kind of hiding behind my tension wrench. So I'm going to go with a deeper hook and set off this ledge. See if I can get pin one. I got a little counter rotation on him. Okay. There, he's set. I just nudged two again and got a little bit more of a false set. So I want to go back to my 15 thousandths pick. And I'm just checking all the pins. It kind of feels like a dead core at this point. I'm not getting any rotation. Everything feels tight. Okay, I feel like I'm going to bend that pick if I keep going at it that way. And so I'm going to try to stick this thicker hook in here. I know it's a little bit more difficult to get going. Everything still feels like it's bound up. I 
I just slid off of a pin. That's what that click was. Still, everything feels bound still. I'm actually putting a lot of pressure on these pins. Still pretty heavily bound up. I'm not getting any feel off of anything here. I've lightened up on my tension and I've still got a whole lot of nothing going on. Okay, I'm going to go to my 25 thousandths short hook. Because right now I've got such light tension, it's virtually no tension. And there we go. I just pushed up on uh, pin three a little bit and I uh, got an open. All right, so uh, let me uh, scoot the laptop back. And get rid of the vise. get in this guy. Okay, I'll have to use the key to turn the core around the other way. Because on these, uh, some of these master lock cores, they've just got this little indent on them. And you turn the core just to the right point, and it starts to come right on out. So, now something's hanging up. Let's try this again. Okay, I wish I had some core shims. It'd be easier to get this one apart. Yeah, I pulled it out a little bit, and uh, pin six came out. It's actually a, a homemade pin and pin. We're going to go ahead and take this one apart backwards. Let me grab my tweezers. Pin 5 is a serrated. It's a homemade serrated. Pin four is a deep spool. Pin 
Pin three is another homemade pin and pin, but it's a uh, serrated pin and pin. Pin two just barely pokes above the shear line. He is a uh, serrated T pin. And pin one is just a uh, factory serrated spool. All right. Pin one is a factory serrated. Pin two is a factory serrated. Pin three is a factory serrated. Pin four is a factory serrated. Pin five and pin six are all factory serrated. Um, I do have threading in the uh, core. I don't know how well this camera will pick it up, but uh, chambers one and six. And in the Bible, I've got threading in chambers two, three, and five. Don't know how well that shows up on this particular camera. Sorry, folks, I really need to buy a good camera. Anyway, that's uh, the master lock that I toughened up. Uh, this one was made in Mexico. Uh, anywho, stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, thanks for watching.